Okay, in this video, we're going to learn how to make a conceptual uh, mass in Revit's. And in this case, we're trying to make one for like an outdoor auditorium that would consider some acoustics and amplifying the sound out to the crowd. And then clearly, if uh, this structure doesn't prove to be um, uh, good enough for sound control and acoustics, you can always suspend and drop acoustical panels from this structure uh, out into the, to the crowd. So without further ado, we're going to get into it. I'm going to go to File, New, and we're going to create a new project. This project, we're going to use an architectural template and say OK. The first thing we'll do in here is go to the east elevation and add a couple more uh, levels. So I'm going to go up to Level, we're in the Architecture tab. I'm just going to go up, and the height of these levels I'm not too concerned about right now. So I'm going to add a Level 3. And I'm going to go up and add a level four. And we're going to throw one more in for good luck, a level five. With those levels in place, I'm going to go to each level and make sure I have some settings that I want. So my level one doesn't need an underlay. But however, my level two, I want an underlay down to level one, which is good by default here. Uh, I want an underlay from level three. I'm just going to send that down to level one as well. Level four, I'm going to send my underlay down to level one. And my level five, I'm going to send a uh, underlay down to level one as well. So now in level one, I'm going to massing in sight. I'm going to say in place mass. With in place mass, I'm going to just say OK. And I'm going to use the spline command because I already know I'm going to be creating something that's fairly organic in nature. And then I'm going to hit Escape when I have that how I want it. Hit Escape one more time. Click on that item, Control-C to copy. In this case, I'm just going to copy and paste the same line work uh, all over the, uh, the screen here. So I'm going to have this kind of start to go backwards at first. And then in level three, I'm going to have it go back a little bit more. And then in level four, I'm going to send it forward. And then in level five, I'm going to have it go even more forward. Now, if I want to be able to see the level right below it, you can adjust that in the underlay settings for that level, which we can get into a little more later. Um, but in 3D, if I have uh, all of these here, I can select them all. So I have all of those forms selected, and I had to go to 3D mode to do that. And then from here, I would say create form, and I want to make sure I'm doing a solid form. With that, it lofts it all into one shape, or one piece of uh, one plane. And then I can click on that uh, mass here, this plane here. And if I hit tab, I can select it easier. And I could change the material right now of this like thin sheet that I have here, or change its graphics a little bit. Um, but I could also say just finish mass, and uh, it tells me that because of this geometry, certain things I can't do to it, which is okay. Uh, under the architecture tab, I'm sorry, under the massing and site tab, I can say wall by face, and with wall by face, I can say edit type, and I can duplicate this and just call it like a 12 inch concrete, say okay. And with this, we're going to edit the structure of it, and we're going to say the category of material. We're going to pick a lightweight concrete and say OK. And we're going to change that to be 12 inches thick to match our description. And with that, we're going to say OK. Um, and then we're going to assign that to the face of this. Now, keep in mind, this is a very long span to be all concrete. So uh, clearly, it would be reinforced maybe underneath or above with some cables and suspension and rebar within it. Um, however, this is just for a conceptual design right now, um, so uh, it's understood that this might not be a feasible design in concrete, right? Especially it would fail, I would think, right about here. Okay, so with this in mind, we're going to go to the site plan. And in the site plan, we're going to go to the view tab and drop a section through this uh, form. With that section through the form, we're going to go visit that section view over through the project browser under sections, section one. With that uh, view seen, 
I'm going to highlight one of these levels, right click and say hide and view category. With that category hidden, we now have a nice section that we can bring in as a PDF into Photoshop and kind of enhance it. If you want to throw in like some stadium seating or uh, a hill, a grass hill, you can do whatever you want to do with this form. You can also do a solar study on this with like sun paths on and off. Um, we can specify the exact time, location, and dates of the sun path to then show our shadows being cast on the structure. There's a lot of cool things we can do with this um, if we want to bring it into like a presentation board to show some diagramming. Um, with uh, 3D, uh, if we don't want to see these levels, we can also do the same thing. We can highlight them and say hide and view category if we want to bring in the 3D image into a presentation board as well.